Hi, it's Chris from Do Andy Sounds, and in today's video walkthrough, I wanted to show you some of the creative ways of using a Vint sound pack. Many of you have asked for this tutorial, so without further ado, let's dive in. For this quick tutorial, we have put some nice stock footage together to show you some of the great ways of using our sound pack. I'm using Adobe Premiere here, but our sounds work in the same way with any other video editing software like DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, or any other video or music software. Firstly, let's add some ambience to make your sound match the video. This known sound design technique really brings your videos to the next level. In this case, we have a nice landscape drawn shot over this big forest, so let's use this wind over the desert sounds to bring that space and nature out this feel. Now let's create a waterfall sound by stacking up audio from ambience folder. Let's have a river version 3 sound, which already works great on its own. However, to add depth into the sound, let's stack it up with underwater version 1 and ocean version 3 sound. Let's hear it together. That's nice. In the next scene, we can see the girl's hair being moved by the wind. So let's reflect that moment with audio by adding wind version 1 sound. Let's hear it. That's just beautiful. In the Hits folder, you will find a great range of cinematic style hits. They really work well for scenes introductions. For that reason, let's use a subtle deepness hit sound, a long version, and let's place it at the beginning of the second scene. In the same way, let's have another hit sound titled Vast Universe, a long space version and let's place it at the beginning of this big tree scene right here. Great. Moving on to music. Now this is really where events proves it isn't just a sound pack. It's more of a set of sounds and melodies that you can mix and match together without worrying too much that those sounds wouldn't work together. In that way, you're essentially creating your own custom soundtrack. Here is how it works. At the time of making this video, you will find 13 composition folders. We keep adding these sounds every 4 to 6 weeks, and once you own the events pack, you get those updates for free. Each folder contains 3 subfolders, arranged parts, full mix, and loop blocks. The full mixes of each composition are great to preview all of the compositions and also just to use them as a ready and mixed and mastered background music to your video. It's royalty free music that you can use for your own personal and commercial projects. This is how we start building a soundtrack to our video. In most video apps, you can preview the sound files you want to import. In Premiere Pro, you can double-click in your media browser and hit play to preview. In this case, let's say I wanted to use Guitar 3 sound, so let's drag it into our session. And let's introduce the melody at the beginning of this scene, somewhere in the middle of the whole video. Now let's drop the drums part from the same composition. To ensure that both the guitar melody and drums parts are in time together, make sure to align the endings.
and then trim from the beginning of the part to where you want the drums to start. So in the same way, you can carry on adding more parts from the same composition folder and keep choosing where you want each part to start. However, some of the musical parts, like part sections, can be sourced from another composition folders for extra creativity. Let me show you how. Here is a part section from the time composition, and if we drop it anywhere on the top of our soundtrack, it will obviously work. But if you wanted to shape a mood or atmosphere of your soundtrack slightly different, you could pick and choose a pad section, or any other section for that matter, from any of the other composition folders. So, for example, let's try using a pad section from maybe together composition. Let's drop it on the top of our soundtrack and let's have a listen now. As you can hear, it matches perfectly. Let's try adding more sections from different folders. So this time, perhaps let's pick the moment composition and maybe let's try adding loopable section, maybe vocal sound effects loop. As you can hear again, the sounds we have layered are working nicely together. So let's just remove those two sections for now, and let me show you how you can use our sound signatures that can be found in the sound effects folder. These tonal one-shot sounds can be placed anywhere in any composition that is included in our pack. Again, these are also great for setting the scene's mood and emotions. Let's grab a piano version 3 and Doppler version 1 and let's reverse one of them and align together. You can reverse audio sounds in almost any video editing software. In Adobe Premiere, you just simply change the speed of the sound to minus 100%. Now let's layer the piano sound with Chime version 1 and use Interstellar version 2 sound for the next scene. Let's have a listen now. That is nice, but it feels like we could do with another sound effect that could serve us as a transition between the scenes. For that, let's use Just Breathe sound, a long version. It can be found in Wush's folder. Let's place it in between the scenes. And let's have a listen now. nice one. In the same way, I am going now to drag and drop multiple sound signatures at the beginning of different scenes in our video. You already know how to do it, so I'll just fast forward the process. So all of the sound signatures have now been placed, and to add more interest into our soundtrack, I have also added a vocal sound effect part from the Horizon composition. Here is how it sounds.
So now let's have a listen to all of it. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. And if you don't want to miss out on our new products or the sound freebies that we give out, please subscribe to this channel. We only have just started, so it means a lot to us. And if you have any questions, please leave the comment down below or email us or hit us on Facebook. Hope to see you soon.